Let me tell you this story. It's about Reka, a young girl of Bangladesh of 12 years old. I met her in a little village when I was taking some clips with my phone and uh, I saw her coming with uh, her uh, schoolmates. Uh, inside me I was astonished because uh, her uh, silent beauty and uh, kind eyes. So I talked uh, about her with Andrea and Helena, they were a little bit far away. They didn't notice her when uh, she came and uh, maybe you can do something. This is just a simple story about a poor young girl from Bangladesh. Enjoy! And now just arrived these uh, ladies from class 7. Class so what does it mean? How old is uh, how old they are? 12 years. 12. 12 years. Look, and they are amazing even eyes. Look at the beautiful eyes of these ladies, green eyes. And uh, they are coming back with the books. Yeah. Now we are talking with uh, this beautiful uh, young girl because uh, she's an orphan, she doesn't have uh, a parents. And we are a little bit worried because uh, probably she's 12, but uh, soon somebody won't get married her for sure. And uh, she lives with the grandparents. What is the dream, her dream? She wants to be a teacher, but teacher. she's super shy. So she wants to study probably, if she wants to be a teacher. You want to study? You want to study to go to school? Go to Tetao. Maybe now we are going to the grandparents to understand what the situation is. Now we are going to her village to, to see the... The grandparents, the family, the, her parents, they died. So let's see. What I understood is uh, she has uh, two sisters, one elder and one younger. This is the place where she lives. And uh, it's in a village. Beautiful village here. Yeah. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Daddy, daddy. 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 Yeah. Now we are asking about the family, about uh, what she wants to do, and so on. His uh, grandfather is is uh, seventy plus, and he has one, one uncle and one grandfather is taking care, care of, of them. But uncle has another son and another children. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to Riship International Olus. But what is this place? This place is just the dream of uh, two Italians that in 1975 they come here to Bangladesh. They are Laura and Enzo. They are a couple and they decided to build their dream. But what was their dream? It was just to help the poor people without any discrimination of gender, religion, etc. There is a school, there, is a, yeah. there are uh, places where the people work. Yes, it's made of different things. Workshop, a school, uh, there, is, uh, there are places for healthcare. We will see everything right now. So what is important is there is another way to help the people, local people here. The students, the poor guys, the poor children, can be adopted by yes. whom? By the people yes. abroad. You can uh, adopt every year just uh, with a small, really small contribution. Uh, I don't know, it's about something like 200 euro. You can adopt child, but especially uh, girls. Because yes. girls, what's the problem here in uh, Bangladesh? The main problem is the early marriage. So some girls, so in particular the one from poor families, at the age of 11, 12, they, you know, the family doesn't have the money to support them, so they get married. So if you support education support program, adoption by distance, they can go to school, they can have everything until, you know, uh, 18 years old, so they can arrive to 18 years old with uh, a dream. Free, their life. free to study, free yes. to be a child. Plus, they're providing clean and safe water to village, and we have 45 community filters. 45 filters all water. around here yeah. to have a good water. By the way, I don't like this position. Okay, now it's, uh, I am high like you. Oh, and uh, sorry. 
Okay, so let's go to visit Rishipi and let's go to see what the people do and how the students and the, the children live inside here. And there is a final uh, surprise. surprise. Let's go. Hello. How are you? Hi, how was your day? Here we are in front of the, the Shippi kindergarten. So here is where the small um, babies from all the villages come. There are five uh, rooms, five class, and there are more than 100 uh, babies, and they all come from poor families. So the ship is uh, supporting them and uh, introducing them then to school. So that's very nice. Let's go to school. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, there are uh, with primary and high school. Total of 500 students. The story of these students is that they all come from poor families or a particular situation. And most of them are sponsorized by some people all around the world. And uh, they, they are here. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Serena. We are two physiotherapists coming from Italy for doing a volunteering job here in Shippi. How long? Uh, we stayed for uh, one and a half uh, months and uh, we are helping uh, children from birth to 20-21 year old. Which problem they have? Uh, they have uh, cerebral palsy especially and uh, uh, autism and behavioral problems too. Okay, and which kind of uh, family they come or from where they come? Uh, they are especially poor families that come far away from here because unfortunately this is the only physiotherapy center um, in about 300 kilo kilometers. So uh, they <coughs> need to do a long travel to come here. Uh, Thank you so much. Hello, my friends! How are you? Hey. Hey. We are in the workshop where uh, uh, the wheelchairs are built. We are with Raju, it's a very, very important technician. So wh why is it very important this place? This place is important because all the guys with disabilities that are in Rishipi, but also outside Rishipi, uh, they need a uh, uh, wheelchair. So we, Produce directly here at the ship to which uh, with uh, uh, everything is handmade. In particular, we use uh, the width of bicycle. So everything is uh, handmade and here and also recycled material, so we can give uh, all to disabled people at a very very low and uh, cheap uh, cost. And I don't know why here there are so many kids and they wait for a picture with a sign. So Andrea, why? Because here we are at a special moment yeah. for a Rishilpi sponsor program. So ah. here is the moment when the, the child yeah. gets the photos to send to the sponsor to ah. Italy and to other countries. One by one they take yes. picture you to see, send gre you see, greetings. greetings from uh, Happy Easter in this case. Ah, so okay. they also send letters, they, they send paintings. So this is very nice moment. Okay. Look who I have here with me, the two girls, sister, the two little sister with the aunt. They come today to visit us in Rishilpi and they are super shy because usually people from villages are super shy. This is a big environment for them, so they don't talk a lot. Now we will talk with Enzo and Enzo will give them a good news. And look who we are here too, we just arrived right now. Mr. Enzo is arrived just right now. Hello. And ciao, ciao. Welcome, Enzo. Ciao, ciao. Come on, ciao. Come on, ciao. Come on, ciao. And she's now, the beautiful girl. Rekharai. 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 Jorodoro. Jorodoro. And now Enzo is telling them that uh, somebody will sponsor uh, these two young uh, girls for uh, the study, so they will uh, will uh, grow studying and uh, 
to be free to study, to be happy, to play like every kids in the world. So this is what we want here in Rishipi. Give to the people an, a normal life and uh, they are uh, young. So it's, it's correct, they will go to school, they will study, they will stay with other kids and uh, they will play and after maybe if they want, they will uh, get married. That's what we want. What they are doing now, Andre? These are the photos that will be sent to the, uh, the sponsor, sponsor parents. Cool. So okay. it will be the first photo they will see. The step for them, and then they will have a letter with description, with everything about the two girls, okay. information about uh, where they live, uh, family, family members, and everything. Yes.